Right, welcome back to the Balance Light of Teletainment, the Good Morning Niger Show. Now, we get a very, very casual guest in the building. In not day with us before, so now welcome back. Now, I have Intel when he enter. Um, in now, the Chairman, Board of Trustees, uh, Dyslexia Foundation, talking about none other than Mr. Ben Ariko. Welcome very, welcome to our studio, sir. Thank you very welcome much. for the second time, as a yes, matter of nice fact. Yes, nice to be here. Nice to be back. Nice awesome. environment. Thank you. All right, so I would like to ask because um, some people from the statistics world don't see, they say a lot of times, a lot of parents, if not for children, because this kind of learning disability, they happen more to children. Now, they say for even Nigeria here, if out of the 36 million people where they're affected, mm. they have a higher percentage in children. How this dyslexia, what they talk about, what can it be, and how parents actually fit tell or fit know, saying that this kind of thing they worry they're picking? Thank you so much. Um, dyslexia and a brain condition, they come from your brain. If you want, if you want to describe them as you want to describe them for professional terms, you will say in a brain condition where they make people no fit read, no fit write, no fit spell, no fit comprehend. So totally four things, or partially? They will struggle. Okay. Difficulty with okay. reading, writing, spelling, and comprehension. If they manage to read, they're not going to read with comprehension. Because the whole essence where they take comprehend or to read something, say, I know I have to read them, not to comprehend, True. to understand. If you read without understanding, no chum be say read now. You know read them. All right? So comprehension is the major test of dyslexia. One of them, people who they get dyslexia, they go struggle low to read. Even when they see words, sometimes they go call them another thing. They go look the word, they don't go fit call and self. They go they mop, look them. They no fit. Then they come to writing, they are writing, then they write jaga jaga. No be doctor writing, you know, but the kind of writing where they won't <laughs> yes. write, they say they go mix capital letter with small letter. Yes. They don't know where comma day, where full stop day, where punct. They don't know all those ones. Sometimes they feel right even across the line. Then they see that that line where they write. So all those things when you see them for your picking, you know, say ah, you feel like say don't they get dyslexia? Mm -hmm. Although it could be several other things. Now you say we talk say, instead of you to conclude. Make you find a time to assessment. There's professional assessment we can do to differentiate whether it's dyslexia or dysgraphia or dyscalculia. They diss them plenty. But so that we go fit narrow them to the one way big, the correct one. Mm. And then we know the correct treatment to give. Okay. You ask the question, say, what the cause them? Yes. There are two causes. One of them, we say, either person, papa or mama, get them. So you come pass them to the picking. Wow. Or in grandpapa, get them. Or in great grandpapa, get them. Great, 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 papa. So one of them must have had it. So it's genetic in all region. Oh, okay. That's the first one. The second one, a traumatic brain injury. Mm. If he be saying the picking day belle, self the inside belle, he get traumatic brain injury. Be say they they hit a, or he, my mother get fever where he no treat, or they use alcohol where abuse it, they harm the picking brain, or when the picking born self, he fall, hit head or something, or somebody takes something they hit and for head. Where would they beat their children? Most of them not be for head instead of for body. That place where they hit them, both for school and for home. If it result to dyslexia, if it hit that part of the brain where they for reading or writing and spelling and comprehension, the brain get division. Every part of the brain get division, get what they function to do. Now it's God rearrange them. So if they hit your picking for head, if it result to that one, or picking fall, if it result to that one. Okay. All right, so now you're not chairman board of trustees uh, for the <coughs> excuse me, for dyslexia foundation. Yes. <coughs> excuse me. Now how, how long, how many years this foundation done they done they in existence? We have been in existence since uh, March 2015. Okay. And before then, the reason why we can't set them up is say before then, everybody where we see we get dyslexia. Now for overseas with the hear them. True. Even me, when my picking get dyslexia, I don't know now. That time I teach for university self, I don't know it in be dyslexia. So my picking when no feel reader, they beat them, I kick them. When they bring bad result, I go beat them like say, how can your father, your father be a lecturer and you're not reading? Especially that you can get two brothers, uh, brother and sister, where they read well, well, and they, then they surprise everybody for school. So when we find solution for Nigeria, we'll not find them. We can't go abroad. We can't see brain training. Eh? Brain training. We go doing tests and tell us, say, you get brain condition. We get brain, a brain uh, condition, what they call dyslexia. I say, hey, wait me that one. After that, they say he get cognitive skill weaknesses. Even though at the time he was 11, he was thinking and acting like a five-year-old because of his cognitive skill. And then that he has attention deficit disorder with hyperactivity. All that one then tell us, the council make we train him for nine months for there. Of course, the money then calls, say, come big past me. But as God will have him, say, make Nigeria also partake, they say that they sell license and franchise for all that place of the world. So we bought the license and franchise and brought it here and then set up the foundation in 2015. 
And since then, we have been trying to give people information, say, say oh, this thing there, this thing there, this thing there, so make you no wrong go abroad again. We can do it in Nigeria. We brought also the test equipment and everything. So we can do it here, we can remediate here. So that is why nowadays we are even thinking, okay, we don't finish to talk about these general people. We want to begin to train teachers. Mm. Because the first people where they get contact with their children, the other than parents, yeah. not the teachers. And then many of them, the last time we would do this thing, they say 97% of them say they never even hear about dyslexia. 87% say they don't know the sign and the symptom. So now we say this summer, especially now we're in day for holiday. We say we don't wait their holiday. Where's their holiday? Make them come take three days, come do this training for our center. And we go train them on how to recognize it. Because if you don't recognize them, how you go take no say this beginning or the other one need help. I would like to um, take you back a little bit to the time when they be given the bill for the training for the nine months where became because yeah. a lot of parents, even the ones we know, they, they fear because of the amount of money we perceive call. Mm. Now for your foundation, how did they take make this one a little better in terms of the funding mm. for them to come for a parent to actually bring their picking come there for the test? So. Okay. To to begin to bring picking come, definitely we start because we're a foundation and with the reason why we set up the foundation is to be able to attract donations from the public. Because we can't realize that just the brain training itself, which is the American franchise, they are very expensive. Many people no fit for them. So between the, the board members, as I mentioned, now we they take our own money put inside now to subsidize the cost. Even from tests, we they subsidize. The test alone, when you want to do them, for every person, are $200. That's about 70-something thousand naira. But when we they subsidize them, we they say, OK, if you can't do the test for 50,000. So every person we do the test, we don't give them already 20-something thousand rebates. The same way when it comes for the, the program itself, because not everybody does the same program. There are people who go do three months, there are people who go do six months, some nine months, some two years, depending on your own condition. And so that's how the price they differ. So what will be the aim of the program? Is it to cure the, the, the symptom, the, the condition totally, or to improve, or to better the mindset of this beginning? What will be the aim? I like the question, because people, they think, say, dyslexia and a disease. disease mm -hmm. No be disease, oh. Mm -hmm. Because you know be disease, you know get cure. Anything will not be disease, no fig yet cure. But what you can do is, what we do is that we train the person to be able to overcome those challenges. You can overcome your reading challenge. You can overcome and know how to read. You can overcome and know how to spell. You can overcome and know how to comprehend. All those things are in the brain. Once the brain is trained, which is what we do, we do brain exercises over time. And then when those brain exercises begin to mature over time, the person will not feel read before, it goes suddenly begin to read. In fact, one woman tell me, say, ah, my picking don't stop to stammer. I don't even notice say they stammer before. Just because they do these exercises over time. The picking was supposed to do nine months training. By the sixth month, you don't stop to stammer. We know the trainer say make it stop stammer. But that part of the brain responsible for speech mm. was rewired. Because the brain can be rewired at any point in time. Whether for old age or for young age, you can rewire your brain. Sure. That's one of the things we do at the center. When you come, we say no fear read, we say no problem, we know where the problem is. We will put you for the brain exercise. You do the brain exercises, within time you begin to read. Okay. We don't even start the, the, the reading first. All right. Now, also this, this summer program we're going to get now, now, more like training the trainers, now, yes. for the teachers, basically. But before we get there, I would like to ask, um, what what will be some of the, the signs where you will see for your picking? We will let you know, say, it's possible, say, this picking get dyslexia. Okay. One, when will they grow? Every stage of development, you go delay. You go delay to crawl. You go delay to walk. You go delay to work out, to talk. All those things. When you enter even nursery school, when he makes the rhyme, you know the rhyme. Then tell and say, hey, you go to do another thing. You don't go pay attention at all. That's one. Every stage, you go delay. So when you begin to see those kind of delays, no say something there wrong. Second one, you go notice clearly. Normally, we are expected at the age of two. You can't don't begin to talk. At least you don't begin to call my I want to what I do. But this particular one, they're not going to talk. Some go dirty three years, four years, five years before they make their first sound. Mm. So when they reach two years and they begin never begin to talk, no say, ah, something they wrong, go yes. begin to look for a solution. And that solution is available for Nigeria. You know, begin to look, no begin to say you want only pray. I believe in prayer. I believe in prayer. But in addition to the prayer, seek professional help as well. That's number two. Number three, when he take and go give him an assignment to do, say so make you do this assignment, he no go finish and one does the finish. It's always slower to finish. Even if you copy notes from board, when teacher they write for board, say so make him copy, he go take time, others go finish, teacher go clean them. So he go see say note never complete at all because say they, they slow to write. When he get for examination, then go be the last person to submit paper. 
Sometimes they go give them even 30 minutes. I can see you are smiling. They remember some of those things. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah, so some of those things they did there, you go see them clearly. So when you begin to see those kind of things, handwriting too is a problem. You go write a thing with teacher no feel read. And teacher no feel read, I might go take mark them now. So those can, they go do well for ways when you say objective exam, uh, A, B, C, and then you give, they go do well for that one. But anyone will be saying it, then write themselves. They're not going to feel do them. Okay, so when they talk of children now, what yeah. of an adult where Good. you don't get answers when the person be small, but nobody for the family don't hear of dyslexia, they don't, in fact, they don't carry and go from one religious organization, thunder, deliverance, back, 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 back. Now, the person don't read old age. Mm. He, he they worsen mm -hmm. for old age or he they, he, he they, he they he reduce, he they mm. diminish? You know, well, you know, people try very much to find ways of coping. Nobody will get dyslexia, at least up to now, go come out tell you, clearly tell you, say, I get dyslexia. Very few people in Nigeria. And we know many of them. We're still begging them, come and tell your story. But we get people with they 50 years, get people with they 38, get people with they 27. All age groups, we get, not be children. When you don't take care of it, when you are growing up. Now, so you go take and grow. But you will find ways of managing yourself sometimes, you know. Some of them develop uh, ingenious ways, like say, one person tell me, say, last two weeks. He said he reached for office. When he reached to write, he go write small low, he go pretend, say, mm, I don't tell this thing is too much. He go pass on to him boss to write. That's a strategy. And the boss go say, oh, you're always very lazy. Okay, give me. The boss don't know saying he get that kind of condition. Even for school, for class, when they teach them, small time they go say, for university too, small time they go say they won't go peace. They won't go do something. They cannot face it because they can't hold it. So when they don't reach adulthood, they find ways of coping and strategizing. You know, one man tell me, say, be director for a ministry for Abuja, now he be secretary for a departmental meeting. But he no feel right, mm -hmm. now director. So what they do be say, bring one small boy for your office, they come, when then they do it. You go, they pretend, say they write. They write anything, no. Now the boy, they write. <laughs> when the boy just finish, he go type and send them for email for him. Then he go, bring the boy, come, the boy go send out the email. Ah, the man, the director is very efficient. How? You don't find ways of coping with that. Is there some form of stigmatization where people know they go oh, come outside? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come talk for, for our own culture at this oh, point yes. in time. Oh, yes. You know, you know the term Olodo? Mm -hmm. Imagine someone calling you Olodo. It's the most painful thing you can receive as a, as a child. But when I be small beginning that time, now just normal, you can't be like saying a normal play insult. Yeah. When we're much younger in our because, own time, in that yeah, era, you know, anyway. Yeah. yeah. But then when you when you really know you are going through it, and person call you that thing, you go no say that. You go pain you because you know say truth now. Now like person call you thief, when you know say you're a thief, mm, and you know go he go pay you when when Abi. So and then as adults, there is still help. You can still overcome it by doing cognitive skill brain exercises. Mm. There is no time in life that you cannot overcome it. Because if you are ready to discipline yourself, to sit down within a period of time, you can do those exercises, and then you can go through. There's one that came to us, and we sent her to adult education. And she came back and said, they are teaching me the same thing I couldn't do in primary school. Why, can I, why am I going to be able to do it now? And I said, OK, that's true. We started with the cognitive skill enhancement program, that when the brain rewires itself, then any information that the brain now receives becomes easy for the brain to take it and to use it, including to read, to understand, to concentrate, and the rest of it. Very true. One quick question we are going to ask last before we eventually get to uh, information about the program that's mm. coming during the summer. Now, if Peking don't, I, I know of certain children where we say they've been born them based on you know the um, symptoms where you've been given. When these children have been given to them, they've been very bright children. You know, mm -hmm. a particular one I know, very bright child growing up. When you call it like a primary four, primary five. Plus, at that time, the symptoms can't the entire time body, you know, and then they lived with him for quite a while. But eventually, in Sabi, I think, will take manage, like you rightly said, manage mm. uh, the dyslexia condition, and it did not, it, it not improve well. well. Mm. Now, how is it, is it possible, say, uh, the bump became, if like, say, you don't get dyslexia, you can't develop over time? Yes, it's possible. It's possible, again, psychologically speaking, if the, if the Peking go through any traumatic incident, like, say, their parents separate, suddenly, or one parent die, that child is traumatized. You know, trauma can also, it's not just physical, it can also be a brain trauma. So in that particular incident, then the child is not doing good, it's not going to do well. Mm -hmm. Until when the child recovers from that trauma. We, had a, we have a child in um, one of our centers in Abuja. She was abused at age five. She's 15 now. She never told anybody. But the parents rec recognized that she started to do badly from age five because of that abuse. 
She didn't tell anybody until this year at the center. She told her trainer, it looks like I'm going to be doing better now. I said, why? She said, she's feeling better. She has forgiven the nephew who was the abuser in this case. And it took us a lot of time to intervene with the parents, with the parents' support, to talk about it. Parents never knew. For 10 years, she has lived with this. So again, that's a, a traumatic incident mm -hmm. that makes people to now you know, get uh, out of their brightness. So it is possible. When there is a, a trauma, a psychological incident of that nature, the person can result in that. Also, there are some medications that sometimes unknowingly, I met a woman who just immunization to the child resulted in uh, a traumatic brain injury for the child. Mm -hmm. you know? So again, those kinds of situations, a child that was doing well, then they say, give him to so and so immunization, and she does, and then that's a side effect. Mm -hmm. Medications have side effects sometimes. So again, it could be that. So a person could be doing well originally until some point in their life, then they, they start to, to now. All right, so tell us about um, the project where you get for this summer. I know so you get um, one project where you work on, yeah. train the trainer. Yes. Okay, please tell We're us We're doing a train the trainer program because we have come to recognize that many times when parents don't recognize this sign, they send the children to school. And when the child is not doing well in school, it is the teacher they blame. And the teacher has seen this sign but doesn't know what to do. I've seen the child struggle, but doesn't know what to do. So in this particular program this summer, we are training teachers, particularly treaters who are training children. So we're going to train them to be able to recognize first the signs and the symptoms, because there are so many symptoms and so many signs. So we want them to be able to identify which one is dyslexia. We're going to train them on all the learning disabilities, uh, dysgraphia, dyscalculia, and the rest of them. And then to be able to differentiate between dys dyscalculia and dysgraphia, and then to be able to differentiate between uh, dyslexia and the others as well. So you will know about all the learning disabilities, but then we will zero in on dyslexia because that's the one that we are focused on. So when you know that, when you know the signs and the symptoms, and then we will give you the skills to be able to at least identify and manage the children. The other challenge is that many teachers don't know how to manage children for classroom. One child told us that when the class is dull and the teacher wants them entertained, he'll call, Maria, get up, read, so so and so. And that's the worst thing you can do to them. When you want them, and of course, Maria knows she cannot read, so she holds the book, and the class go, ah, Olodo, and they have a song for her. That's not the thing to do. So we train teachers on the techniques to manage those kind of children. How long be the training? How the training is, is for three days. Okay. It's going to be on the uh, August 1, 2, and 3 in Lagos. Abuja is going to be 10, 11, and 12. Okay. Kano is going to be on another day, but the whole of August, we are going around Lagos, Abuja, Kano, and Port Harcourt, okay. training teachers on this. Where, where in Lagos will this be holding? Um, it will be holding at our center in Ikeja, which is at number 5B, Adekunle Fajui Crescent, mm. of Adeni Jones. Yes. That's where our center is. But the information on it all is on the website. What you go to www.dyslexiafoundation.org.ng, mm. go to the section called Events. You will see it as an event there. It's an event called Teacher Summer Program. And then you can follow the process there to register. Right, yeah. Fantastic. Right, thank you very much, thank sir. You. Uh, Mr. Ben Ariko, now we've done a follow talk since. And in uh, the Chairman Board of Trustees, Dyslexia Foundation. If you missed this interview, you go see them for um, our YouTube page. If you follow our YouTube channel, and you go see the interview there eventually. So this one uh, basically to teachers and, of course, to school owners. Uh, because you know, say your children will need this one very, very, very particularly. Uh, no, be every picking when you be spell name be your Some of them just get the condition called dyslexia, and dyslexia no be dead sentence. Hmm. A lot of if I was going to quickly say before we get to get more time, a lot of notable people we don't get dyslexia, we survive, we become very, very, um, not, very notable people. I'll give you a few where I don't open here. Um, the likes of Tom Cruise, hmm. Mission Impossible. If they watch Mission Impossible, American movie, Tom Cruise grew up with dyslexia. Very, very huge British billionaire, uh, Richard Branson. In big get dyslexia growing up. And of course, if you're into movies, no other movie director is bigger than Steven Spielberg in get dyslexia as well. But then all of them don't turn out to be huge, huge success stories. So of course, again, again dyslexia will not be death sentence. For Send Nigeria. your children for training. For Nigeria, and, uh, for Nigeria. Yeah, for Nigeria, of course, we get different people, we get dyslexia. Can I mention one? Yes, yes. That, yes. that one agreed that we can mention her. Yes. Uriel Ngozika Oputa. Of course. Ah. She's working with us and she's she's a notable mm -hmm. dyslexic. But you see her successful now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you go to our Instagram page, you see the kind of things she's doing. Very true. But she is one of them who is dyslexic and openly said so. Mm -hmm. There are others 
We are still begging can them I, to Can play. I measure one? Yes, please. His name is Bernard Akede. I mean, it's a success story. Yes, and when oh, I talk about God. the child there from age four, from primary four and above, no, I use okay. myself as an example, you know, okay. because many a times, even I don't suffer some kind of um, verbal abuses, although you know no book, mm. and they go say, I did speaking, but you know book before, what's it going to happen now? Mm. But now you mentioned some kind of traumatizing um, events, events maybe mm. happen, and I realized certain things too will be happening around that, around that period, the time when I've been losing my dad, uh -huh. you know, so it could have been. Yes. But then again, well, this, this particular interview is not about me, but a lot of people, we get this done, they hide. And um, I think it's time for people to come out, come out. because only when we begin to talk, um, now then other people go know, say, mm -hmm. no, be the sentence. See, I'm not. actually work, See, I'm. Uh, work on themselves. Yeah, yeah. Why I like the that. Better Republic? <laughs> what do you know about me? I like that, man. <laughs> That's great. To enjoy more of this, our Ugon Get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.